I'm going to come here and I'm going to go about five eighths of an inch. Okay. And then you're going to choose a wire nut. I could get away with a yellow wire nut. Um, I only really use yellows uh, if I'm going to have an issue with space. I prefer to use a beige or a red wire nut. You're going to twist your wire nut on, and when you twist wires on, you want to check your connection to make sure that wire nut doesn't come off. Okay, that's how what you should be doing when you're doing your board. So you're going to wire nut one of each, and there should be no copper showing. Then you're going to tape one. So let's tape this one. And the wire nuts are different colors. This this will do maybe like three number twelves. This will do up to five. So as the, as the different colors go, the bigger wire, the more wire they can handle. There's a gray wire nut that's bigger, then there's a blue wire nut that's bigger than the gray, and then you get an orange wire nut and a little tiny blue wire nut for the smaller sizes. So first you're going to take some Scotch 23, this is an insulating tape, and it's got this backing on it. Just give it a tug and that backing will break. Okay, then I'm going to start down here right where my insulation is. And I'm going to wrap it. And notice which way I'm going? Clockwise. Clockwise, because we do everything clockwise, right? Right. Okay, I'm going to get it to the top. So I'm going beyond here, and I'm going to just fold that down. That's going to give me a cushion, because that's really where all that sharp wire is. So it's going to give me a little bumper shield there. So I've got the 23 on. And I'm going to take my electrical tape, the Scotch 20 or 33. I'm going to place it like that. I'm going to go over the top and down. Okay? And then I'm going to wrap it tightly back up. And now I have a nicely insulated taped connection. What's the difference between the 22 and the 23? If you look at it, this is the 23 and this is the 33. <coughs> 23 is a thick insulation. It gives you, it's your insulator, but it's not a sticky tape. And then this covers it to stick it. This just keeps it from gooing together. It just sat in the sun and come up and be like a blob. Okay, so this is what keeps it from blobbing up on you. Now you're going to do your Western Union. <clears throat> now notice the, the, I don't have a big ball here. You don't want it super big. In fact, because you've got to have to be able to fit that into a box or a motor little compartment. Is there a certain number of times you can drag it around, like two, three? No. Um, the, uh, each wire has a rating. By putting this on, this, this alone, with uh, one wrap, will give you a 600 volt insulation. Take this again. Start off where the insulation starts, and then I'm going to stretch this as I go, because again I don't want a big blob. And again, I'm just turning it like a barber pole. <coughs> Till it's fully insulated. Is the thick one, the 33 is thin. And then I want to just wrap this all the way around tight. 
Don't want to have any place where moisture can get in. And there you have your Western Union insulated. No copper showing. So you're going to tape one of each of the wires. Of course, you're not going to tape the shepherd hook or the terminal eye. You're going to solder one of each, and when you solder it, cut it to length. If you bring it up this long and you soldered it, I'm going to take points off because you just wasted my solder. So you cut it to length and you solder it. When you solder your Western Union, give me another Western Union, please. When you solder your Western Union and T-Tap, only solder the splice. Soldering is just giving us a permanent bond. We don't need to solder this. The reason we would solder, uh, for example, the terminal eye and the shepherd hook for corrosion protection to keep the patina out. So if I was in a wet area, that's what we call tinning. When you're tinning a wire, put a little, a light bit of solder, and um, later on when someone's ready I'll demonstrate soldering but what you want to do is you want to glob on the solder. You heat it up, you get your solder on there and then give a little bit of a tap, all the excess solder is going to fall off and you're going to have a nice clean soldering job. So you can see it's just soldered right here, the T-tap is just soldered right there. This is what we call tinning. Okay. So tape one of each, wire nut one of each that will take a wire nut. Obviously you can't put a wire nut on these. And then you're going to solder one of each. Then once you've completed that, in your book you have the properties of the wire. And you're going to bring up your wire and I'm going to say what type of insulation is on this wire? And you would say THHN, THWN. And I say what does the T stand for? And you're going to say thermoplastic, H, heat factor. N, nylon, W, wet location. If this was THW, what would the heat rating be? Well, no H is 75 or 60, 1 H is 75, and 2 H is 90 degrees Celsius. So THHN is a 90 degrees Celsius wire. THW is a 75 degree, and TW is a 60 degree. So I may ask you any one of those wires. Then I'm going to say, what's the definition of a conductor? You say a conductor is a material that allows the flow of electricity. What's the definition of an insulator? An insulator is a material that resists the flow of electricity. How many volts is this insulation rated for? 600 volts AC. What does AWG stand for? American wire gauge. What gauge is this wire? Number 14. What does AWM stand for? You're getting dizzy? <laughs> it's all written down. <laughs> and I'm going to say, what does AWM stand for? You're going to say American Wire Manufacturer. What does CU stand for? It's the periodic table for copper, AL, periodic table for aluminum. UL, Underwriters Laboratory, CSA, Canadian Standards Association, and BW1, the vertical fire rating. And that's it. Simple as that. <laughs> and that's it. <laughs> So it's tape, solder, wire nut, study that sheet so you know all the answers. All right? Any questions? There's no okay. wire nut on the fixture splice? Yes, is definitely put a wire nut on the fixture splice. The only one you're not going to put a wire nut on is the terminal eye and the shepherd hook. And the, the Western Union, the T-tab. This is a wire nutted bull splice. This is, this is, this is. Tape, tape, and you can see what's supposed to be taped here two, three, four wire pigtail, fixture splice, and then term, the Western Union and the T-tap. Okay? <laughs> yeah. Can I grab some tape?